in this video, let's focus on which values of s that the zeta function actually converges to some value and we know that the zeta function evaluated at one so if I put a one in here for s in all of these terms, I'll get the harmonic series and it's true that the harmonic series actually diverges or in other words, as you add more and more of these terms that the sum starts to approach infinity. And we also know that the zeta function evaluated at 2 is equal to the number pi squared divided by 6. So it converges for this value 2. And the way to figure out for which values of s that the function converges, we can write the zeta function in a slightly different way. So notice that I've grouped terms together here, where for this one there are two terms. For this set of parentheses we have four terms. For this one we would have eight. And from 1 over 16 to the s all the way to 1 over 31 to the s, we would have another 16. The next grouping would be 32, and that would continue on and on forever. And the reason we do this is that now we can say that the zeta function is always less than 1 plus 1 over 2 to the s plus 1 over 2 to the s since 1 over 2 to the s is bigger than 1 over 3 to the s plus 1 over 4 to the s plus 1 over 4 to the s and we can keep going with that 4 times and then we'll add 1 over 8 to the s and in this set of parentheses since there are 8 terms we'll have 8 of these so this will be multiplied by 8, and you can just keep going. The next set of parentheses would have 16 times 1 over 16 to the s, and so on. And this infinite sum here, that's bigger than the zeta function, can be rewritten as 1 plus 2 over 2 to the s, plus 4 over 4 to the s, plus 8 over 8 to the s, plus 16 over 16 to the s, and so on. And this can be rewritten as 1 plus 2 over 2 to the s to the first power, plus notice that 4 is really just 2 squared. So we can rewrite this as 2 over 2 to the s to the second power since if we square the numerator and denominator, we'll get back this term here. And since 8 can be rewritten as 2 to the third power, we can write this whole term here as 2 over 2 to the s to the third power. This term with 16s can be rewritten as 2 over 2 to the s to the fourth power, and so on. Now notice this is a geometric series and it can be simplified a little bit further, this 2 over 2 to the x. Since we have a 2 in the numerator, we can cancel that out with one of the 2's in the denominator and rewrite this entire term as 1 over 2 to the s minus 1 to the first power, and we'll apply this to each of these terms here of 2 over 2 to the s. So they can all be rewritten as 1 over 2 to the s minus 1. And in general, a geometric series, let's say we have 1 plus a plus a squared plus a to the third and so on, this can be shown to equal 1 over 1 minus a when a is less than 1 and bigger than negative 1. So in our case, our a value, we can say, is 1 over 2 to the s minus 1. So we can just plug this into our formula here. So this whole sum is equal to 1 over 1 minus 1 over 2 to the s minus 1. And recall that this entire sum here is bigger than the zeta function. So if this sum here converges and it's bigger than the zeta function, then for whatever values of s that this converges, the zeta function would also have to converge. And this geometric series will converge 
when this term here is less than 1 or bigger than negative 1. But since we have an exponential function and we're dealing with real values of s, this will never be negative. So we don't have to worry about this lower bound. So let's write that this term here, 1 over 2 to the s minus 1, has to be smaller than 1. So we can solve this equation for s by just multiplying each side by 2 to the s minus 1. So we have that 1 is less than 2 to the s minus 1. And you can rewrite 1 as just 2 to the 0 power. And by doing this, we can directly compare the exponents here. So s minus 1 would have to be bigger than 0. So we can rewrite that. s minus 1 is bigger than 0. Adding 1 to each side, we find that s has to be bigger than 1. So essentially what we found is that for s values bigger than 1, this geometric series here will converge. And if this converges, then the zeta function must converge because it's smaller than it. So the zeta function, we can say, converges when s is bigger than 1.